Technology inevitably has grown and become a pivotal part of society. It enhances the way we communicate with each other, facilitates our performances in our everyday lives, but most importantly, it is a vital resource needed to transition from high school to Today, it is essential to know the basics of technology, such as using a computer and being able to navigate and operate with the programs and applications. Here are some students' high school experiences with technology and their input of its effects. Do you consider your high school technological? Yeah, I do. And why? Um, I feel like we had a lot of technology-based classes and the way the teachers would use technology. We had a lot of um, smart boards, iPads, uh, computers. We had Mac, so I consider them to be very... Yes, I did. And uh, can you explain? Um, well, we used clickers for our test, um, and uh, our school offered AP um, computer engineer, and our math department um, provided everybody calculators, um, and throughout our school, there was um, like three computer um, labs, so our school really emphasized us to like use computers at school. Yeah. And why? Well, we had this smart board, which we could, the teachers would hook it up to their computer, and it was like touch screen, so they could open documents, or we could work on word problems, because they had like a lot of markers that you could write on. Do you think it better prepared you for college? Coming into college, do you feel like it? Uh, I think it did, because um, my professors really like emphasize us to like use like the internet, and um, and then, like living in a in an era where like technology is used, especially in college, like I guess it did help me like you know so yeah so because it's been like trending throughout like and it's it's gonna continue to so it's um it's important for like the for young adults to evolve through our high school so so then they could just pick it up when they go to college. Yeah, I think because. Um I was used to the technology, so whenever here there were like any technological classes, I think it, I was familiar with it, so I knew. Also, because um, everything was online, I knew how to access it, and I think that made it easier here. So, do you think schools should implement technology or not? I feel like it will save a lot of time and. Yeah, they should, because it'll save a lot of time. It'll help students learn better. Yes, I definitely believe that, because, um, again, we're living in, in a society where um, it is very important to actually know the basic skills um, of, uh, of technology, um, because not only uh, it's, it's influence in schools, it's also influence in the, in the field and work field as well. Yeah, definitely, I think it's a more accessible, um, relationship between the teacher and the student. Um, uh, it's not like you have to wait like the next day to talk to them and shoot them an email or anything that. Do you think it um, changes like the relationship with the teacher and the student though? Um, I really don't think so because um, I use I really I um, I always email professors through the e through email like today. Um, so uh, I email a lot of my professors and it's really. It's really helpful for me. That's how I get like that one-on-one -on -one connection. Cause uh, um, he, I, I ask him a question. He answers it uh, fast. You know, I don't have to wait until next class or. So you, you don't know. believe it's a negative? There's a negative effect. No, there's. I don't think there's a negative effect. It really helps us and and in class as well. So like using those Google Docs and like you know uh, having a space to like communicate outside of school. It's a perfect way to like use it. Like, you know. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time, Samantha Lisa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think it changes the way teachers teach? Yeah, definitely. They're able to cover more subjects and address the needs of the students better. Okay. Thank you very much, Mauricio. You're welcome. Hi, Gabby. Would you consider your high school technological? No. And why not? 
Well, we only had one computer class freshman year and another one senior year, but it was optional and people wouldn't really take it unless they were done with their college courses. Hi, what is your name and what year are you? My name is Lupe and I'm a third year. Hi Lupe, would you consider your high school technological? I wouldn't consider my high school technological. Why not? Because we didn't really have a lot of like, like computers or any other like techni technological device. Hi, well, can you tell us your name and your year? Susanna, third year. Okay, so would you consider your high school to be technological? No, I wouldn't consider it to be techno technological. Can you explain why? Um, because we the teachers didn't really use a lot of technology. They used projectors, and it wasn't really expected of me to use technology in like any of my home assignments either. Really. Was so? Would you say it was hard for you to transition into college life where technology is commonly used? Well, it was different, especially with like with e-comments or like the Google Docs. I didn't use that in high school. So would you say it was kind of hard for you to transition to the college life where technology is commonly used? I would say uh, yes. It, it was really hard for me to transition just because uh, now, like we ha we have to use like e comments or like we have some classes. In some classes, you have to like know how to use like certain um, applications on the computer and stuff like that. And I definitely don't think like I was prepared for that change. So was it hard to transition to the college life where technology is commonly used? I would say it was definitely harder because I had to like adjust to using like e-commons and things like that where I really didn't have to upload anything or really use computers for my assignments before. So yeah, it was definitely a little bit of harder adjustment. What technology like or what resources did your teachers use while they taught? I could only think of the overhead projector. that They were basically talking to us and just taking notes, especially in math classes. And history classes, the rest were just them talking and us doing the what we had to do. So, what kind of resources did your teacher use while they taught? Well, mostly, like, most of my teachers would use overhead and projectors and just write on, like, um, the boards or they would just talk throughout the lecture. What technology did you actually have, like, around school or, like... Um, we had projectors, all of the teachers used mm -hmm. projectors, and then we had, like, two, like, small computer labs, but it, it's that the computers weren't, like, very advanced. They were just, like, when there wasn't a lot of technology present. Do you wish you did have more experience with technology in high school? That would have helped. For example, I remember doing this project last quarter. We had to do a film, and I didn't know how to do, like, the whole iMovie stuff, so at least one of the members knew how, and that's how we got through the project. So do you wish you did have more experience with technology in high school? Yes, I, I would definitely would appreciate it if, like, my high school offered, like, more technological, like, um, devices or stuff like that like, to learn. Because now, like, it's, it's common to use, like, a computer daily on a daily basis. So do you wish you had like more experience with technology? Uh, yes, because I feel like it would have made it a lot easier to transition here and then I wish I knew more about technology because it is such a big part of the world today. Okay, well thank you Susanna. Do you think technology changes the way teachers teach or even the relationship with their students? Um, I think it does but in a positive way. For example, I remember sophomore year I had this TA, but our schedules conflicted all the time, so she agreed to Skype with me, so that was really helpful for my final. Okay. Thank you so much, Gabby. So, do you think it changes the way teachers teach or the relationships with their students? I think it does, because, like, you could easily, like, email a teacher if you need, like, something or you miss a lecture or, like, if you need help for, like, to study for an exam, you can just, like, email the teacher or... Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>well, kids these days, as you know, are pretty savvy. They're, they actually have a lot of uh, skills coming in. Teaching the, the students how to touch key type is a skill that they'll use their whole life. But also having a good knowledge of the Microsoft Office Suite those common everyday programs that we use is really, really beneficial in the long run to them. Technology is 
a big part of society today. The iPad project was very exciting to get. Whenever we got it, I'm pretty sure everybody was happy that we got it. Students are able to take it out in class if they need it. Some students have one to themselves. We use them for retyping notes. There's lots of different projects that you can do on it. You can make documents there, you can make pie graphs, you can make like pretty much anything on it that you need to do projects for school. The iPad allows you to talk and it will type and allows you to have anything read to you aloud at any speed you want. And you can also do things like highlighting and you know, putting in notes, etc. It's just an amazing piece of technology. It helps me as a student because I find sometimes if I write down notes I can't read it afterwards so I find it helps if I can have them all on my iPad and then I can just take them home, email it to myself and print it off from my home computer. Every day the smart board gets used. Um, I do all my demonstrations from the smart board. I often will have what the tasks are for the day up on the smart board so they know of due dates coming up, they know of ongoing projects that are due. The things I do with my smart board I could never do even five years ago. Um, things like applets, demonstrations, online video, there's so many different things now that we can use it for that makes our life a lot easier, but also it really, really sparks the interest of the kids. After conducting a series of interviews and filming a portion of the participants, our research pointed out that coming from a technological high school and developing technological skills is definitely needed when transitioning into an institution of higher education, and that coming from a technological high school facilitates the adjustment to higher education. As the world continues to evolve, we will continue to use less of paper copy books and lean to a technological device to facilitate our learning. Therefore, we conclude that technological preparation in high schools help pupils in the transition of higher education and serves as a lifelong scale.